Hi everyone, I'm Lana Zak. Thank you for joining me to watch history being made today. As SpaceX successfully launched from the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida, this is the first time Americans were spacebound from American soil in nearly a decade. The two astronauts, Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, are expected to dock at the International Space Station tomorrow. Joining us again from Vero Beach, Florida, is retired U.S. Air Force Colonel Scott Kane. Colonel Kane, now that the mission has launched, what does this mean for the future of, private, of the private sector and its involvement with space travel? Well, Lana, thanks again for having me on. I, I really, first, I, I will say I was pretty darn excited to, to watch that uh, that uh, rocket to take off. Uh, I used to do that as a kid, and uh, I don't know about everybody else, but I, I, I it made me feel like a, I was a young kid again. So um, I, I think what it does is it gets our our country re-excited about space travel and the the domain of space, and it gives us something really to be proud of that we can you know all get behind and have an opportunity to do something new again. Uh, so I, I think it's just a it's, it's starting over. Uh, for America, and I, it's a great start. Well, watching these images, I remarked out loud to myself <laughs> in my home studio, humans did this, because for a layperson like me, it is just breathtaking. Uh, what did you think as you witnessed this launch? Well, I, I'm like everybody else. I uh, I just am uh, really excited to, to see that happen. Uh, as you know, we we always think about what what made that happen. How could humans make that happen? And it, it just points out how how great the the human spirit is. How innovative we all are. Um, how have you, we have a chance to do something? We're going to take that chance and and really succeed. Um, it, it's just a, it's it, the, it's just an incredible feeling to see us do something that doesn't even look possible, and then to achieve it. Well, much has been made about the comparison between the Apollo missions and the SpaceX launch. Can you tell our viewers a little bit more about that? Well, yes. The uh, to me, the the big the, the big uh, similarity between the two is that it, it was we we were leading the way, and the uh, you know the Kennedy administration put that as a priority that we would lead into space and go to the moon, and uh, and you know. President Trump is you put it as a priority that uh, the United States would lead once again in an endeavor. Uh, and what are we leading in? We're leading in in allowing the the free market to build a spacecraft to to lead the charge. And and so now we're giving private sector and industry a chance to in, to excel in this environment. And and they are really excelling. It's uh, uh, you, you just look at the spacecraft. You look at the the spacesuits. Everything about it looks you know. Cool, you know, it's uh, and that's what people are, I think, excited about is that it it gives it that feeling of you know we are we are 21st century Americans leading the charge. Well, let's talk about those sleek new spacesuits. Uh, you couldn't help but notice how very different the astronauts uh, look today compared to our image in our minds of of what astronauts in, in the past have looked like. Tell us a little bit more about what's changed in these spacesuits. Well, you know, I wish I, I wish I was an expert and got to got to to put one of those suits on and jump in that uh, spacecraft. But you know, the technology is we in the in the military, uh, for example, the technology would move very rapidly. But sometimes, because of our acquisition processes, that uh, we were labored to keep up with technology. And so, uh, what we've done now is that we've allowed. Uh, industry to to do really cool things like use gloves that can you know touch touch screens and and uh, interact like you do at your home with your iPad or uh, or with the, your computer. Um, so the the really neat thing about this is that that the uh, the industry has is right there with uh, with the technology as it's moving forward. And so those those suits are are what you would expect of somebody in the in the early 21st century not somebody laboring back in the you know 1960s or 70s well it really is a bold new day in space travel and in science and technology and in the american spirit so thank you for joining us retired air force colonel scott kane thank you lana i appreciate it